Here are six reasons why you should skip the Logitech MX Keys Mini Keyboard. This comes from a bunch of questions I've received. And the first question is, does the black MX Keys Mini Windows version work on a Mac? Well, yes and no. As a keyboard, it does function, but not all of the keys are remappable, like some of the command control option buttons that you would want to remap so that the layout is similar to a Mac. Well, you can only remap a couple of those. So you're gonna end up getting stuck with a layout that just isn't going to be the same as your MacBook Pro. And that is one of the reasons why I ended up returning the black version as nice as it looked and ended up getting a Mac specific version of this keyboard, which solved the problem, but I really would have liked to have something closer to space gray. Problem number two is going to be the unifying receiver. Can you use the unifying receiver with the MX keys keyboard? And the answer to that is maybe. If you already have a unifying receiver, then it's probably not going to work because the only receivers that work with this MX keys mini is the newer Logi Bolt receiver. It does not come with the keyboard, so if you want to do that, instead of Bluetooth, you're gonna end up having to go out and buy a receiver. Just make sure it's the Bolt version. The next problem is that the new keys, as cool as they are, they are only cool when they work. After upgrading to the latest version of Logitech Options, The microphone mute key now works for me reliably. And I really like the emoji key. It is super useful when I'm trying to fill out comments on YouTube videos and things like that. And I want some emojis, but I have noticed that it can be hit or miss. There are times where you will hit the key and nothing happens. And if you click away from where you're at and then back into the text field, then the menu will pop up. So there's a bug somewhere. Then there's the voice to text dictation button. Now this is cool in concept. It isn't something that I normally would use, but I have not been able to get that to work on a MacBook Pro. And that goes for both the Intel MacBook Pro and a M1 version of the MacBook Pro. So this is not just an M1 thing. There's actually a problem here. And it doesn't look like the Logi Options software is even trying to add it to the permissions. I went through a whole ton of settings looking for a way to enable this so that you could control the voice to text through the keyboard and I just could not do that. Now there is a setting in the accessibility settings that will let you turn on voice to text. So that could be a workaround for you. And if you turn that on, then anytime you have the cursor inside of a text field and you end up speaking, it's going to populate that with text. But the problem there is gonna be that that is always on. It's not tied to the key, so you can't just toggle it on and off. And I'm not sure if this is just my version of the MX Keys Mini, but I have noticed that it is incredibly sluggish when I am switching between devices and that's when I'm comparing it to the full-size MX Keys keyboard, which felt much faster. Some of you probably like to use the home end, page up, page down, and write delete keys. And if that is you, then this is gonna be a problem just like the Apple Magic Keyboard because those keys are not on here. However, you can get around that because if you use the function key along with the arrows, you can do the same stuff as like the home end, page up, page down, or if you do function delete, then you can do a delete write. So it's not a huge deal for me. But if you are someone who likes to use your keyboards wired, then this is going to completely be a no-go for you because the USB-C port on this keyboard is only for charging. You cannot use it as a wired keyboard. Despite all these problems with the MX Keys Mini, it has been my main keyboard now as a programmer for a while, and I do really like it. I like the ability to be able to switch between three different devices and to have the keyboard layout be very similar both in size and placement of the keys to my MacBook Pro so that it reduces context switching.